Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this electromagnetic radiation detector. These detectors are now in the market at very low prices and I was just curious and bought one to see if they work and what they can do. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Well, this is how I got it in the mail. It only comes with a little manual in Chinese and in English. The manual doesn't say much. Um, the most obvious thing about this instrument is that it's beautiful and generous in appearance, superior in grade and is accompanied by a color packing gift box. Well, mine didn't came with a box too bad. Uh, measuring frequency is wide and uh, can test household appliances but not cell phones and the specifications uh, frequency range is from 50 Hz to 2000 MHz and yes cell phones use uh, higher frequencies. It's very simple to use, only has two buttons, on and off, and the data hold button. For what I've seen, the readings go from zero to 2000 units, which we don't know what kind of units they are, the manual doesn't say. Okay, so let's see how it works. The wall outlet gives a small reading but when we connect a cell phone charger we obtain a much larger reading the air conditioning unit shows no reading or a very small one probably from the fan motor. We also have zero reading from the Wi-Fi hotspot. Let's try with the lamp of my lightning system. Maximum reading. Let's try with a Tesla coil. And of course, it goes crazy. The manual says it does not detect cell phones, but let's try anyway. I'm going to make a call. And Nothing. No reading at all. Finally, let's try with this radioactive element is a Merisium 241 from a fire detector system. And absolutely nothing. No detection. Here we can see what's inside the device. Honestly, I was expecting just a simple coil and a pair of transistors, but we can see at least three ACs. And uh, it is also interesting that we can see several holes for which there is no corresponding buttons on the front. Maybe it is for a more professional version. Anyway, Nothing impressive, but 
more than one would expect from a unit that costs less than $10. Well, as you could see, the device does detect electromagnetic radiation of relatively low frequency. But when we move to higher frequencies, for example, cell phone radiation and the Wi-Fi, it does not detect. Also, it didn't detect the radiation from the radioactive element and these higher frequencies are the frequencies that can damage the tissue starting from X-rays, alpha, beta, gamma radiation from radioactive elements. This can do harm but the element does not detect this kind of radiation. For that we need a Geiger counter. So this is an interesting toy but not much more. Thank you for visiting my channel. Hope you liked the video. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks and see you in the next video.